Hi, listener. This is from Ideology to Unity, a spiritual journey. We'll let go of ego and ideological doctrine in favor of meaning, purpose, and unity as a whole. So, what is this about? Grounding, or at least the balance between, on one hand, being grounded, on the other hand, being spiritual or right brain, say. And um, I had an idea just before recording this that perhaps one way to be grounded is to do what you love. And something that invigorates you and is in line with a sort of purpose that you have in life, but doing what you love an activity for me is podcasting right it's not the only thing but it's one of those things it, but it's it's taking action in the world in some sense rather than just sitting around or distracting yourself right it's some kind of dynamic engagement with the world basically, but from a, an authentic place where we're doing what we love. On the other hand, meditation and mantras and spiritual practices like that are, they're also very important. But if we just do that, and you're not doing anything maybe if you just do that but the rest of the time you're doing you're not really doing stuff you like and you're not engaging with the world then you might be detached and just i guess the idea would be in the clouds or something um so we have to find a balance one thing that can help with grounding, of course, is visualizing, laying down a um, a root, a, a cord to literally earth us from our root chakra to the actual earth itself. But this, of course, a um, this is of course a spiritual practice but that can help with grounding too but of course as i said dynamic action of the world is important so honestly it's kind of that simple i'm sure there's more i could say about the subject but Yeah, we don't want to just be engaged in spirituality, especially if you were to be spiritually bypassing and be all everything's love and light, but without actually dealing with any inner negativity. So I suppose another aspect of grounding in a way is shadow work as well and that's just watching yourself having a part of your mind that watches your mind in a more present sense than just Because we've got, all the, we've got all this, I suppose you could say, egoic mental activity, all these, this mind chatter, right? And if we can watch that, I would say that also helps. Especially if we're having a day where we're not sure where we're even at, which way we're going, for my thought of floating. 
that happens sometimes. On a day like that, or any day really, it's that combination of active engagement, but also mindful mindfulness with ourselves. Um, I hope that doesn't sound too vague, but I guess I guess I'll leave it at that for now. All right. Um, yeah, so have a nice day. <laughs>